Hi, it's Laurie from Positive Thanks Living, and this is Day 12 for Barbara's December Daily Collaging 2020. As you can see, I have some faux Christmas trees, and they're, they have numbers on them. And that is number seven. Include numbers. So that's what we're going to make today. And it shouldn't take too long because it's very simple. I started with a sheet of Christmas paper. This one is rocking around the Christmas tree. And then I put some numbers on them. I have these stamps that are the numbers one to nine. And I just stamped them over with blue distressing faded jeans, cut them in strips, inked the edges, and then in a pile, I put a hole through with my pokey tool, and then a brad to the other side. Simple, very simple. And as you spread them out, they become a triangle in so that they can imitate a tree, a Christmas tree. So I'll show you very quickly how I did it. Step one. I wanted to take the edge, make this as even as possible. So I'll just rip that. This was originally music paper from a free publication. Pardon me, I just sneezed. <laughs> oh, Tannenbaum is the German word Tannenbaum for tree, Christmas tree? Tree. I won't sing it for you because I don't sing well, but if you put that into YouTube, <laughs> you'll find uh, the song. So there's the, I folded it in equal amounts so that as I tear it, I know how many to go. Now, obviously you could use whatever color you wanted. You could paste numbers on. I chose to just use a stamp in one color. And from one to nine, all over the, paper, trying to make sure that I have at least one of each of the numbers on each strip. I'm doing this faster than I did the others, just because watching me put stamp numbers can't be that interesting for you. But you get the idea. Eventually I'll go through all one to nine and put them all over. I can do that afterward. In the meantime, I'll tear these. My goal is to make this video quite a bit shorter than yesterday's, than day 10, or no, day 11, because day 11 was a long video. I eventually got to a point where I liked my page. It wasn't as collagey, if you want to put it that way, as some other pages. But that's okay. Because variation, as I'm working through the different prompts and putting them into the same journal, variation seems to be interesting. When you go back and you uh, scroll through. So then taking the distress ink, just going green, 
traditional green, yes, like a tree, <laughs> on each page. And it doesn't matter if some are torn unevenly. I mean, really, trees are very unique. Each tree with each bough is unique. And I think as a background, I'm going to, on the page, I'm going to use this scrapbook paper. The trees seem to stand out nicely on it. Sorry if I'm not quite in the middle of the frame. I have to keep reminding myself. That's why I use this here and the Be Thankful stickers as my guide where my hands should be. Christmas songs. Let's talk Christmas songs. Do you enjoy fast-paced Christmas songs when you're at home? Do you use a, just uh, play CDs or MP3s or have a device that's spelled with a A? I won't say it because then my device that begins with an A will listen. <laughs> Or do you have, have you created your own Spotify list of Christmas songs that you enjoy? There's a CD that we got many years ago, and it's called City on a Hill, the compilation of different artists singing different Christmas songs, unique ones that I enjoy listening to. I have... I had the CD from many years ago, but I also found it on YouTube where someone has posted the songs. Now again, I'm going very quickly. You could put stickers, you could put glitter, you could put, uh, you could emboss. The, the options are so, of what to put on these strips of paper truly in your own, as far as your imagination can take you. And then I use this and just estimating the middle, poked a hole through, took a brad, like so, and fanned out my tree like this at this point you can't see too many numbers I'll go back and put more numbers on but here's another example with more numbers now to add a star on top or whatever you choose to do I would love to see it if, if you want to take this further, make it more interesting. Uh, you see how easy it is. Anyhow, it'll go on number 12. I'll just quickly go through the pages so far. We have the cover and the entry page. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a journaling card in there. And this turns into a present. Seven, that's a flip. Eight. Nine strips of cards. And there is a journaling tag there. We played with oxide ink. I can't reach it right now. And that was interesting. And embossing with gold. And yesterday was number 11. And this was interesting in a very long video. But eventually I got it to the point where I liked it. It was the prompt about doing a black and white photo with a little uh, journaling booklet that goes on the page. And then this will be 11. So I wish you well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting. Take care. It's Lori, Positive Thanks Living.